All right, hi, how are you? Welcome. Uh, we are in Dallas and it's beautiful here. And today we're gonna talk about the Martinelli Bella Vigna Pinot Noir from Russian River Valley in Sonoma, California. Uh, and the cool fact about this vineyard is Bella Vigna means beautiful vineyard. And it is a collaboration between Giuseppe uh, and Luisa Martinelli who were original immigrants from Tuscany back in the 1800s. Um, so let's get in the glass. All right, so let's take a look at our glass. And I want you to notice that the color is beautiful, right? It is a light ruby with hints of garnet and garnet is orange. Um, so there's a red orange going on here. There's no stain on the glass. And the legs are medium plus to form and medium plus to fall, meaning a medium plus level of alcohol, but we're gonna confirm that when we get there. So stick your nose in there and let's smell for some fruits. And I want you to notice that there's ripe and just ripe red cherry. Um, there's cranberry, there's raspberry. Underneath the fruit, we're looking for some earth. And I'm not getting any earth. I'm getting a little bit of licorice and maybe some um, dried herbs, but there's no rocks, there's no dirt. Um, so let's move on to the oak. And on the oak side, there is definitely some vanilla. There's um, a sweet salted caramel, and there's actually a little bit of cedar as well, like the cedar chips you put in your drawers to make your clothes smell nice. Um, so let's take a sip, get in the glass. So on the palate, let's confirm what we smelled, right? Um, definitely those ripe and just ripe cherries. Um, cranberry for sure, um, red raspberries, so all kind of ripe, but on the tartar side of red fruits. Um, underneath of that, still there's no earth, right? There's no rocks, there's no dirt, there's no leaves. Um, it's pretty clean and fruit forward, but there is just a little bit of licorice. Um, and I think there might be some dried herbs. Um, and then let's look for that oak. One more sip. Definitely that vanilla is there, right? And that sweet salted caramel. And there is a little bit of that cedar chip, right? Um, kind of woodsy and um, hard edged. So um, let's confirm our structure as well, right? So let's, how much is your mouth gushing right now? Are we medium um, when you're looking for the gush? Are we medium plus where you feel the gush? Or are you high where you have waterfalls? And my mouth is definitely medium plus right now. Um, same for alcohol, right? How warm are you right here? Are you looking for it is medium. Have it is medium plus. Um, fire is high. And I think I'm medium plus as well. I definitely have a good amount of warmth on the chest, um, meaning that there's some good alcohol here. Um, and last but not least, we're gonna talk about tannin, and that's how dry your tongue is. So if you're looking for that dryness on your tongue, it's medium. If you have dryness on your tongue, it's medium plus. Um, and if your tongue is covered in cotton balls, it's high. Um, and I don't have very much tannin at all. I can't, I'm looking for the tannin, the dryness on my tongue. So I'm gonna call this medium. So we have kind of a medium bodied wine straight down the middle, which means it's gonna go with medium bodied food. All right, three, two, one. This is ripe cherry. This is salted caramel. This is super juicy finish. Um, this is gonna go with burgers and flatbreads really easily. You can make it play with anything on your menu, um, but I think burgers and flatbreads is a really easy avenue. Uh, and the one fun fact is Bella Vigna means beautiful vineyard. 